Tonight, the family of this little boy is in utter shock and disbelief after a family dinner at their grandmother's ended in his tragic death. Good evening, I'm Steve Atkinson. And I'm Kimberly Hunt. The boy and his cousins were playing outside when he was hit by a car at the intersection of Melrose Drive and Spire Street in Vista. 10 News reporter Janet Kwok is live at Rady Children's Hospital with what family members shared just a short time ago. Janet? Well, Kim, we're here right in front of the emergency room where we saw some of the victim's family uh, leaving the hospital about 10 minutes ago. And tonight, we spoke with some of them just moments after they learned of the seven-year-old's tragic death. <laughs> we found Emmanuel Carachure numb from the news he just received from detectives. His cousin, seven-year-old Isaac Carachure, had been hit by a car and killed. My cousin was reaching for a shoe that my other cousin threw. And he bent over and this lady came and he hit, hit him in the head. The crash happened just before 7 p.m. here on the 600 block of Spire Street in Vista, where San Diego County Sheriff's say a woman in her 40s was behind the wheel of this Toyota. Isaac and his cousins were playing in front of this home, visiting his grandmother for dinner. <laughs> Isaac was just a very happy little boy. He just loved life and loved everybody. Um, he tried to make everybody happy. Sheriff's deputies tell 10 News alcohol or drugs did not appear to be a factor in the crash. But tonight, tow trucks hauled the car away for more investigation as deputies combed the street to see if speed was involved. Neighbors tell us speeding has been a problem in this neighborhood. And I have to yell at cars to slow down, um, but nobody seems to listen. Everything's not, it's not going to be the same. Like, he like, every time I would go over there, he would make my day. It's just like, it's going to be hard for me not to see him anymore. And investigators tell us a driver was questioned but was not, has not been arrested. Of course, we'll be staying on top of this story. And for any late-breaking developments, we'll have that on 10 News this morning starting at 4.30 a.m. Reporting live from Rady Children's Hospital, I'm Janet Kwok, 10 News.